This is Colin with Maker Farm. This is part five of the TiVo Tarantula build. In this section, we're going to install the Y belt. So go ahead and grab your bag with the belt and zip ties. We're going to use the zip ties to secure the belt. And you're actually going to have two belts in the bag. We only need one of them for this part. So go ahead and put one of them aside when we do the X axis. Then you're also going to want to have something to be able to cut your belt. You'll notice the belt has teeth on one side and flat on the other side. The teeth are going to wrap around the gear on the motor, then go through the center of the extrusion. To start, we're going to loop it through this hole on the uh, heat bed mount. You're going to want the teeth going down. Now we're going to interlock the teeth and use a zip tie to hold those together. Now cut off the end of the zip tie. I'm going to lift this up so that you can see the belt. The teeth are facing down, so all we see is the flat part of the belt. We're going to now bring the belt to the back of the machine. We're going to loop it over the little idlers and then around the gear on the motor. And then we're going to put it through the center of the extrusion, and we're going to have it go all the way through the extrusion and come out the front of the machine. Now go ahead and pull the belt out of the front of the machine. Make sure that the belt hasn't twisted inside the machine. And then we're going to run it over the idlers on the front of the machine, making sure the teeth contact the idlers, back up to this other hole on the heat bed mount where we're going to thread it through, pull it tight, and then do the exact same thing that we did at the first and zip tie the belt together. Then we'll cut off the excess part of the zip tie and the excess part of the belt. Now you can see the belt connects to the front of the heat bed mount. The teeth are down, goes up over the front idlers through the center of the extrusion, and then exits the back of the machine, goes over the motor, the other idler and then connects back to the heat bed mount. If you move it back and forth, it should be able to move fairly freely, but there is going to be more resistance. In the future, if you need to tension the Y belt, you can loosen these bolts on both sides. Then you can move that Y idler forwards or backwards to tension the belt properly.